excuse me, Mr. Reno. Uh, uh, you can call me Dan. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Dan. <laughs> Could you sign that ball for me? Sure. Who would you like me to make it out to, soldier? Uh, I'm not actually. Uh, well, just, just fill it out to Colt. And, uh, oh, oh, right. Uh, great catch. I don't remember you on our team. Uh, well, I wasn't. It, it was an interception, actually. But you could write great interception if you want to. <laughs> and then, and then uh, write your pal, and then sign your name. Uh, how about I just sign Dan Marino? Yeah. That works. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Bye, Dan. See ya, whoever you are. Evan, I want to thank you. It was truly an honor playing with you and Dan. But seriously, it was a dream come true. <laughs> Better call me. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, thanks, everyone. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've got to get right back to Austin. All right, hey, Miss Vasco, could you do me a favor? Look after this guy for me? <laughs> Price. All right, appreciate it. Cole, pleasure, sir. Be good. items. Yo. Uh, first, I've been filling out the roster for the Legends game, and one of the guys said he's one of your best friends. Who? Mario Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> Mario. Yeah, I know him. Should we bring him into the mix? Yeah, I'd say invite him. He's not a bad guy. Then he's in. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun to beat him. So, apparently Ross wasn't completely honest about signing the Legends. They're out. Wait, that's better for me, right? Maybe. Uh, maybe not. So who am I playing? Well, that's the thing. Jack fell for the scouts to care about this game. The other players needed to have something at stake. OK. Everyone involved is a former NFL player hoping to get back on the league. So, younger and faster with something to prove. Jeez. Ready for some lighter news? There's more. <laughs> hey, that trip cost us valuable time. An interesting offer came in today. Pat Kerwin would like to have you on his show. What'd you tell him? I wanted to talk to you first. I know they loved you going to the Middle East. Everyone did. I mean, the social media response was nuts. Yeah, I just wonder what they want to ask, though. Well, I can't say, but... This is as safe as it's going to be for you. If you're serious about being an NFL quarterback, we need to get you comfortable with the media. This is a great chance for you to face your past head on, for everyone to see. What do you say? OK, let's do it. Great. I'll let him know. Devin? I love the show, and I gotta tell you, the last episode, when I found out you were a military guy, I was fired up for you. But it is not the traditional method of getting to the National Football League. So here's my first question, kid. How does a five-star college player quit and join the Army? You know, after everything that happened in UT, uh, me falling apart, um, you know, my dad had died. You know, as you can imagine, it was a, it was a very difficult time for me. You add to that the embarrassment of how I left UT, you know, in the media, you know, the media was all over me. You know, all I wanted to do was to, you know, go where no one knew my name and, and no one cared about football. I guess I, uh, guess I found my escape in the army. I didn't have some big heroic reason to go, nor am I a hero in any way. I, uh, I met a lot of heroes in my time in the Middle East. You know, it's a life choice, and you made it. And I have a lot of respect for you. But on the other side of the coin, if you had a chance to do it all over again, what would you do? <laughs> wow. If I could do it all over again. I would have talked about it. I mean, any of it. 
know, but that's hindsight. Um, I made the mistake of not leaning on Colt or my teammates, you know, because in my mind, the only person that could help me get through it, my dad, was gone. Well, I got to tell you, Devin, that hits me pretty hard personally because my father coached me growing up, and I cherish those moments with my father. And I got to believe now that you're more mature, you're able to draw from those moments and make you a stronger person. And I also got to tell you this, when you think about Captain McCarthy, I got to believe he had a big hand in getting you from there to here. Uh, absolutely. I mean, Captain, Captain McCarthy helped me find my love for football again. I mean, just simply throwing a football around. You know, no, no loud crowds, no, uh, no cameras, no critiques from the media. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, just simple, like playing in the front yard. Amazing stuff, but I didn't exactly hear a Ross Fountain shout out right there. <laughs> and you won't. I love it. Devin, it's time to talk to you about the Legends game. You're going to be on a football field with a bunch of NFL veterans. It's an environment you've never been in before. Yeah, true. You might be way over your head, but guess what? It's going to decide if you're drafted or not. I want your reaction and how you feel about the pressure of that game. Well, <laughs> they put together quite a cast for this thing. And I'd be lying to you if I didn't admit that I, was, I wasn't a little bit nervous. You know, I, I am. But, you know, that being said, I, I just have to play within myself and make sure I'm one of those 256 players drafted next weekend. Truth be told, I'll do whatever it takes. They tell me I gotta walk across a hotbed of coals wearing nothing but a football helmet, like, I'll do it. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> you know, next thing on my mind is this TV show. You know how you got here, Devin? You got here because you're a TV star. I, I have questions, and my question is this to you. Are you just a TV star, or are you really a football player? You know, the truth is, I want to play pro football. You know, it's been a long road, but I, I caught a big break, you know, being invited to be on Long Shot. And if people want to people want to hate on me for that, man, I guess that's what Twitter's for. Well, for Long Shot, you were competing against Mike Schmizniak. <laughs> Admit it, he came off like a pompous jerk, and you wanted to crush him. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure Mike's a good guy. Maybe he was just, uh having a bad set of days. Oh, come on, Devin. That's a political answer. You were winning me over until I started hearing that kind of stuff. Well, let's get you out of here with this. If you had the opportunity to pick any NFL team, which would you pick? <laughs> oh, I'll play for anybody. Oh, no. There you go again, Dev. How about we start here? What was your favorite team growing up? Oh, well, I can definitely answer that. I always loved the Texans. Now that wasn't very hard. Now you got yourself back on track. Devin, I can't thank you enough for being here. I wish you all the luck in the world. You've been a great guest today. But look, thank you guys for having me. I mean, I, I, I watch your show like every day. So I, I really appreciate it. Jim, I'm getting the feeling he's winning you over. Uh, you got it, Pat. That young man has won me over. I think he's going to be fantastic in the league. I like his arm, and I like his attitude. And we're clear. Oh, my that goodness. That was fabulous. Wow. Can you believe that? You did really well. Wow, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. Ready for the next one, huh? Yeah, let's do it. That's right. It's a long shot. Yeah, come on in. It's open. Hey, you got, you got a minute to talk? Yeah, man. Yes, I do. But uh, first, take a seat. Okay. I want you to listen to something. I want you to tell me what you think. Okay? All right. <clears throat> I mean, it's... Just listen. <clears throat> Duh. Heading down the Midwest Highway, chasing down the end skyline. Brothers in arms just headed to the combine. As the day turns into night, clocks ticking down, and there's one more play. 
One more pass and you're on your way. Is where it gets good. <clears throat> hey, he's a long shot. It's a long shot. <clears throat> Gonna be ready for some tonight. Gotta be something for the big bright lights. He's a long shot. He's a long shot. Ooh. Yeah, some some gonna win the game. Some Hall of Fame. I don't know, man. It's, it's, <laughs> that's all I got. <clears throat> what do you think? You wrote that? Yeah. I mean, for you. You know, for I mean, for us. For you know, the show. I don't know. I was gonna show it to Julia. You think she'll like it? It was amazing. Yeah. All right. I mean, you really think so? I mean, it's just a start, but... No. Well, how, how long have you been working on it? About 30 minutes. Jeez. Yeah. Wow, man. It was great. It's great. Cool. Cool. It's great. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, D, you, you want to ask me something? Nah. Nah, you, uh... You, you answered it. You answered it. Yes, I did. My man. Yes, I did, because I'm psychic. I know you better than you know yourself, D. <laughs> All right, you like it? Okay, this is good. This is good. This is, this is, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for something tonight. I'm in the big bright lights. Win this game. Gonna go to the Hall of Fame. Yes, that's it. Charles, we've arrived at the moment long shot fans have all been waiting for. Yeah, Brandon, Devin Wade gets his shot to prove himself here tonight. And an interesting setup for this with Wade's team. They'll only be playing one side of the football. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. He's going to lead his offense in a series of five different scenarios. And let's be clear, it's not just any offense against any defense. Devin certainly has a little help back there. Justin Forsett lining up in the backfield. And the same can be said for the defense. Former NFL player Larry English is out here trying to prove himself tonight in long shot. And no doubt that's what's got so many people tuning in right now. Let's go down to the field. Larry, it's good to see you again, but the question everybody wants to know is how does it feel to be out there again today? Man, great, great. I feel, you know, my body's healthier than I've been in a while, and, you know, really at this point, I just want to show people I can still play. Well, listen, this is your shot. This is your chance. This is your opportunity to redeem yourself. Everybody's waiting, and I know they're excited to see you back in uniform, as am I. Good luck out there today. Thank you, man. Man, I wish I had a jersey to put on. If you want these scouts to buy in, you got to leave it all out there on the field. Come a long way. It's time to show off to the world. Let's go. Yes, sir, coach. Don't get your head. Trust your arm, and you'll ace this. All set. Let's run! So, Charles, what are Devin and the guys facing on the first challenge? Well, when we're calling a normal game, they call this first challenge, put the game away. He's going to start at his 20-yard line with four minutes left on the clock. All right, boys, here we go. All right, come on, eyes on me. Let's go out there and prove to the world that we belong. Well, we definitely belong. I mean, I was all conference at UT, and I know I haven't played it down in the NFL, but uh, we're standing next to a bunch of dudes who have. No, I, I know we do. All right, we just need to prove it to the scouts and to the people back home. Oh, man, I can't wait till one of these dudes comes to me. I'm going to show these guys just how fast a cruise missile really is. <laughs> all right, good. All right, look, these guys have never played together like we have, all right? We've been lining up in these huddles since we were seven years old. Yeah, it feels like old times, doesn't oh, it? you got that right, man. What's happening, fellas? Y'all got room for one more? Yeah, all right. <gasps> this is awesome. What? What are you doing here? It's my audition tape, man. I went from playing with Philip Rivers to sitting on my couch. <laughs> you ready to call it quits yet? Hey, I heard you know this long shot dude. Oh, yeah, I played with this chump back in high school, man. You know that guy that has everything and still whines about it? That's him. Yeah. I've had to work for everything in my life. I'll make some plays tonight. It might be my name to call next week instead of his. Yeah. Hey, you just stay out of my way, all right? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, big boy. Come on. All right, Devin, here's the play. Trips right, 34 blast. You got to drive down the field for four minutes without giving the ball back. Run out the clock, and you complete the challenge. Give it back to the other team. You failed. 
Be careful, they're going to be expecting you to run, so I'm going to mix in plenty of pass plays. We got trips right, 34 blasts. Okay, ready? Hey, long shot. You're going to get hit today. So here we go. First play, first challenge. Devin and his teammates need to hold on to the ball for four minutes. And it's not going to be easy because you can't just run basic dive plays and expect to take those four minutes off the clock. You still have to run your offense and take care of the football. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Devin certainly has a little help back there. Justin Forsett lining up in the backfield. When you think about all-purpose players, guys who can do it all, protect the passer, run the football, catch out of the backfield, as well as had a ton of patience in his NFL career, because it took him a long time before he became a starter, that's Justin Forsett, one of the front ends. And that is the first connection of the game from Devin to Colt Cruz. Well, certainly not the first of their careers. These guys have played together most of their lives, so that bond that they've had, it certainly has endured. First and ten, Devin Wade back to pass. Finds Chad Johnson on the slant. So they pick up the first and extend the drive. What do you think? What do you expect from the defensive side? Run blitzes, and then run blitzes, and then run blitzes, because they've got to create a play here that makes things negative for the offense and puts them behind the chains, as we like to say, and forces their hand. Devin will throw, and they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. So, Charles, Devin Wade, everyone knows him through long shot. Maybe the, only the surface story. What is the backstory? Where did he come from? Well, let's go back to Mathis High School. When he came out, he was the number one quarterback in the country. Five-star recruit, and, and I would say that if they could give a six-star, he would have had it. Had all the tools. If he had been a baseball player, he would have said he was a five-tool kid. And now they are officially in the red zone. Really good for them because I think Devin's done a really nice job so far. Look, he's got nerves but he's harnessed him well. Wade in the red zone here on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. To throw again. Wade. It's a touchdown. I don't think that that's what the producers really expected when they put this challenge out there. That one puts the game out of reach. Yeah, that technically counts as a win. Nice job. A nice job by Devin Wade on the first challenge, don't you think? Yeah, you know, he did just fine. He got rid of the nerves and showed that he could handle the pressure. But I do think it'll be interesting to see him handle what's coming up because there are a lot of challenges left. Now, here's where guys under center make their money, the two-minute drill. And that is challenging. But all-time greats like Dan Marino and Tom Brady, they've made their bones in moments like this. Let's see how Devin handles it. All right. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. All right, let's go gun. Trips right verticals. All right, let's get everybody deep. Let's get everybody deep. Hey, there better be some looks for me on this drive here, Dev. I mean, we have been waiting for this our whole lives, man. Hey, don't worry. I got you, baby. Let's go. Well, get me, too. I'm the one people remember. Oh, they're going to remember the cruise missile. Trust me on that. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Ready? Right. The who? <laughs> Cruise missile? All right, Devin, make smart decisions on this drive. Use the sideline. Conserve the clock. 80 yards to go. First and ten, watch that clock, not much time. First and ten, Devin Wade drops back. So that one falling incomplete brings up second down. But still not the worst thing that could happen to them on offense because that stops the clock. So they go back, they retool, second and ten. Got to get the ball downfield, but at least the clock didn't continue to run. Second and ten. Wade to throw it again. He almost had it. The big D lineman nearly had an interception. Instead, it falls down incomplete. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Wade to throw. 
And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Got to go for it here to keep the challenge alive. They'll try and throw for it here. And that pass falling incomplete. Failure to convert on fourth, thus ending challenge number two. Yeah, tough drive for Devin and his guys. Now they've got to regroup before the next challenge. Okay, so a failed challenge. But yeah, Devin seems to be showing some poise, some positives out there, no? And when you go back to that scenario, it's not unexpected because I do think you can take 28 at the 32 starting quarterbacks in the NFL, drop them into this scenario, and they would have the same result. So you got to look deeper and say, okay, what did he do really well? I thought he commanded the huddle. Saw the teammates looking at him. Saw him handling things well. So while the overall challenge failed, he saw some real positives from him. All right, now let's go to Dan Marino. He's been part of Devin's long shot team. Dan, I'm curious, were you part of the group that set up these challenges? I was, and I look forward to this one the most. It will test every aspect of Devin's game. Devin will be backed up to the one-yard line and has to drive the team into field goal range with very little time left on the clock. And Dan, I like that these are so difficult. It would be almost unfair to Devin if the show gave him a pass. Let's put him in these tough situations and see how he handles them. Exactly what we're thinking, Charles. I didn't think I'd ever be back here. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Maybe for you, these people didn't exactly care for me too much when I left. Oh, it's in the past. Jevin Wade, get off the field! Or not. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Wade, you suck! Wade, you suck! Wade, you suck! Okay, Devin, Wade, this is beyond difficult. Wade, you suck! I want you to focus on getting out of the end zone and then start Wade, working towards suck. field goal range. Wade, Good luck. All right, first and 10, first play of the drive, challenge three, and they need to get this thing in field goal range quickly. Backed up this deep, be careful. It's a team of legends, they may want to come after him with a blitz. Caught, it's Cruz, left side. Well executed, Devin Wade, the confidence to throw it. Of course, he had to deal with being back around his own end zone, but gets the first down yardage. And think of the tension that everyone felt before that first play call. Backed up deep. Could the defense maybe create a safety? Would the offense take care of the football? Instead, they hit him with one big play downfield, and now they get a chance to relax a little bit. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. First down, Wade to Cole on the slant. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. On first and 10, Wade. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Throwing on first down. Wade. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. So passing the challenge, obviously a good thing. More positives than negatives to take away, I think you would certainly say. I definitely do say that. More positives than negatives. Look, the foundation is there, all right? He's got to increase his overall confidence in his ability to play quarterback. He's got to do that part. We know that. But Jack Ford, he's kick-started the process, and this is just the next step in the evolution of Devin Wade. All right, look, this one's pretty simple. But there's something I want you to try on this challenge. What? Okay, I want you to prove to these scouts that you can play well without Colt. I want you to prove that you can do this on your own. How? Are you, are you going to take him out? No. I just want you to complete the challenge without throwing a pass to him. But why? What, what is that even going to prove? Devin, you have relied on Colt your entire life, and it's time for you to show them that you can play well without him. Trust me. 
This is going to answer a lot of questions that these scouts have about you. Okay, and I, I'll just, uh, I'll get the other guys more involved. No problem. Hey. This is going to pay off. And I guarantee you, it is going to mean something next week. Right? Yeah, it, Coach. Here we go. All right, let's go. Single back, 324 rocket, X corner, Z drag. Yo, what's the catch? It seems pretty easy. OK, the catch is they want me to prove I can drive the ball down the field without Colt's help. What? Well, that's Bush League, man. Who made that decision? Look, man, hey, stop worrying about it. Let's just drive the ball down the field and score, all right? All right, here we go. Ready? Time to see if Devin and Co. are ready to go for challenge number four, first and ten. We know that the object is for Devin Wade to move his team downfield without relying on his best friend. How can he maneuver the team without just going back to him on each and every play? I want to get back to something. We were starting to talk about Devin's history. He said he was a five-star quarterback when he went to Texas. What went wrong? What's the word that we hear so often now with youngsters in today's society? Entitlement. All right, you know, when he first went there, he obviously looked the part. I think maybe Coach Hauser did him a disservice by handing him the job right after the spring game. Yeah, as I said, he definitely looked the part, but he wasn't ready. Not by a long shot. Pun intended. Third and long. Devin back to pass. Flushed out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. And thanks to the structure of the finale, Devin and the guys will be going for it on fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And he finds Cook. Give him 22 on that one. And it's good enough for a first down. Devin Wade will throw it again. Over the middle, open is Thomas. It is go time right now, and Team Longshot cutting it close. To say the least, they obviously need a big play here, and in this situation, is there a chance for them to play a little basketball, go up top and have someone go over the top of everyone else and make a big play? Let's see what they do. On first down, Wade. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets it down to the 32. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And Devin will throw again. Over the middle, it's Thomas. So time expires, which unfortunately means Devin and crew fail the challenge. You have to pay attention to the small things, which can turn into Dude, big things if you don't you. take care of them. To get it's not just reading defenses Throw out there. Bone. It's understanding the clock, too. Hey, come on, man. You know I wasn't trying to ignore you. I just had to take what the defense was giving me. Yeah, you're right. I was freaking out that this might be it for me. Any chance to get noticed can help. Uh, we've seen some good, some bad. Break it down for me, Charles, your assessment of Devin so far. I think so far, he's doing okay. Clearly, he lost that last challenge, and with the remaining one being so difficult, he's got a steep hill to climb. Flying Oregon Ducks uniforms for this challenge, too? Come on. I hope not. D, just calm down, okay? You spent the last six months getting over that night, and I know you have. Now you just have to show millions of people at home that you have to. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Let's go. 
So here we go, challenge number five, and the raindrops starting to fall. And this is a little eerie. I'm thinking it as people are. This is becoming very reminiscent of that game against Oregon, his final game at UT. You're exactly right. Now that it's starting to come down, that inclement weather is going to either get into his head or he gets out of his head because that last pass he threw that actually counted this exact situation, this exact scenario, he's got to defeat that in order to win this challenge. One play here. Can Devin Wade finally put the demons to rest that have haunted him for the last four years? Let's just get out of the half. Keep it simple. If it's not there, don't force it. Good. Hey, yo, D, we need this. I can beat my guy, D. Cold is not the play, man. I know, but if we don't show something here, we might be sitting. Come on, you wanted to dedicate this game to your dad. Let's do it for him. Let's go. I'll be open. No matter what happens, I'm proud of you both. You can't defend a perfect pass. You know, well, there's no such thing as always a safe bet. too excited. I expected you to know that that check down was a smart decision. Look, I know it's hard to resist throwing the Colt for the big play, but what we really needed there was a completion to keep the clock running. Now, you enjoy the moment, but remember, you can make a better decision there. Now, get back out there. Keep this drive going. Okay, Coach, uh, what are we running? Whatever you want. You earned it. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> See? Told you I had your back. I wasn't going to drop it this time. Now the attention shifts to the offense with a minute 30 on the clock. Let's see if they play it safe or come out aggressive. But this is a great opportunity for Wade to change history. If I'm him, I'm not playing it safe at all. I'm cutting it loose. On first and ten, Wade. And it's incomplete. It's a dangerous pass. That's what it was. And it brings up second down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Throwing again. Wade. This is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Now Devin from the shotgun. Charles, if I'm hearing this correctly, I think that I am the Longhorn faithful in the crowd. They're now chanting Wade's name. And for Devin Wade to come back to this stadium in front of these fans and win them over, you know it's something he's been dreaming about. What a special moment. Is I all right? You are way better than all right. You were so great. Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> Big D. Ah, hey, we did it. We did it! <laughs> Come on, man. Just, just reach out. Give me a high five. Come on, man. Yes! I'm back in. Devin, you better get changed. I'm sure some people would like to talk to you.
They put together a great show. I'm proud to be a part of it. Would have been a lost cause without you. You think you'll make it? In the NFL? Well, if he can complete passes like that against that competition, they gotta at least take a look. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> yeah. Ah, let's see what people are saying. Oh, man. That bad? No, not, not all of them. <laughs> uh, here, here's one from Yogi Roth. Uh, some teams are intrigued by hashtag long shot, hashtag Devin Wade. Okay. <laughs> that's good, right? There you go, yeah. Good. You're your own hashtag, man. Come on. Oh, wait, there's, there's more. But others say he's draft kryptonite. Comes with a circus a la Tim Tebow. What? No. Nah, Come man, on. Nah. Yeah, that hurts. Speaking of hurting, Devin Wade ain't worth the hoopla. Play old men all day, but not ready for NFL. Old? <laughs> man, Scuba Steve needs to check himself, man. Yeah. You know what? Just let me let me find another good one. Is it that hard? I got one. Wade made great choices time and again from the Barry Sanders. What? <laughs> yeah, baby. Are you serious? <laughs> a legend. Oh, and, and this one's from at U.S. Army. Great to see Devin Wade crush the legends on the long shot finale. Hashtag Army Strong. Wow, that's really cool they did that, man. <laughs> that's great. Wait till you hear this from Draft Scout. I haven't finished my official full analysis yet, but early breakdown makes Devin Wade a fifth round Prospect. How about that, baby? <laughs> that Money. Awesome. Oh, no, let, me check, let me check this. That's money in the bank. Hey, Chad, I don't think you're old at all, man. Uh, yeah, speaking of which, uh, I can call you Chad, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Calm you, you, you mind putting your name on here? Selfie. Hey. <laughs> hey, Munch, I want to do that again. Yeah, I think you, you flashed me off. Oh, no, it wasn't. I'm just saying. <laughs> just listen. listen. No. Can you sign that for me? Yeah, you got to give me a pen. I don't have a pen on me. Hey, man, you like ribs? What kind? Any? Mr. Senko? Is it uh, Ocho? Chad? Mr. Senko? I mean, you just called me a five. Mr. Johnson? Five. No. Yeah, he just called me Senko. He just called me a five. Like, that's, hey, five. That's and like his middle name. Oh, it's all to get. I'm sorry. Hey, Chad, I don't think you're old at all, man. Hey, Devin, this is Kirk Cousins. Love you on the show. But I have just one question How could you not throw the Colt? Hey, Devin, this your boy Josh Norman. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Hey, don't worry about them haters. But, hey, I am looking forward to you coming to the league so I can pick six your tail and ride Delta all the way home off your air and throw. <laughs> oh, man, some girl just wrote, I only watch Longshot for Colt. Why do they spend so much time on Devin? Hashtag not my long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me that, man. Uh -oh. Hey, man. I should look. <laughs> oh. Pretty cute. Man, let me shut that nonsense down, man. Hey, man, I'm hungry. Why don't we get some grub? Come on. Oh, what else is new? Months is hungry. Hey, why you gotta make fun of me? <laughs> man, eat, Colt. Oh, man. oh come man, on. Eat. Let's go. You're Let's over. ride. You're already overweight. <laughs> it's my thyroid, Ocho Cinco. Come on, man. You of all people should respect the thyroid. <laughs> <laughs>